deal? David the Duke Dickinson is TV's best-loved antiques expert with an eye for a bargain and a taste for a one-liner. What a bobby dazzler. But fooling a man who can spot a phony a mile off will be no mean feat. Is that the real deal? So will we be able to pull off a classic undercover on the man with the tan? You must be blinking joking. Soon, David will be arriving here to present a TV show called Long Lost Treasures, where he reunites members of the public with their, well, long lost treasures. But this is an undercover, so not all is as it seems. In fact, nothing is, because the whole TV show is fake. In order to make sure David thinks his new show is the real deal, first we need some fake guests. Yeah, the glasses. There he is. In this episode of Long Lost Treasures, David will be reuniting car enthusiast Alfie, that's Deck, and his flirty fake wife Margaret, played by an actress with Alfie's first car, this rather fetching Ford Capri. Alfie's long lost car is now the pride and joy of scrappy boner Frank. How are you doing, Alfie? That's Ant, who's agreed to let them see their old beloved wheels one final time for David's new show. Um, David Dickinson, the Duke speaking. If you want that, don't... If I don't want it. Hello! David has one final read of our fake script. So, hello and welcome to Long Lost Treasures. And with everybody in position... Have you got a mirror? Let's just see how we go. OK. Tell me when you're at speed, gentlemen. It's time to go undercover. Hello, I'm Dave. <laughs> Hello, I'm David Dickinson, the Duke. Welcome to Long Lost Treasures. Now this is the show where I reunite families and couples with treasures and possessions that they parted with years ago. Coming up, Alfie and Wendy. Fifteen years ago, young Alfie sold his most prized possession, a Ford Capri. Well, today, it's my pleasure to find their treasure. Enter Alfie and Margaret, and let's see if David will buy our story. Now, Alfie, the car, come on, what did it mean to you? It was amazing, you know. I, we went everywhere in that car, the two of us. We had a lot of good memories in that car. We, we found it in Canterbury, and it cost £1,000, and it was my pride and joy, you know. But we wanted to have the wedding, you know, so... Any, anything she wanted, she could have. He sold the car that he loved for yes. me. So where did you meet? Because it's a, you're obviously a scouse, I can hear that, and you're a Cockney girl. Where did you actually meet? <laughs> she loves Birmingham Classic Car Show. I told her on the day, you look as beautiful today as the cat's eyes on the A27. That's what I told her, didn't I, Wynne? I'm not... I'm not... <laughs> I'm not so sure that's the most romantic thing I've ever heard. But do you know what yeah. happened, actually? <laughs> Our son, do you remember? Conceived Dinner. in the car. He was conceived in the car. We had we parked up one night and we had, well, you know. You don't have to explain to us, I think <laughs> we, we're all adults, we all know, two young people in love in that car. There's probably better memories in that car than I thought. The story. <laughs> okay, well, I've got a nice little surprise for you because to find that treasure is my pleasure. Okay, bring the car in, please. The show is going well, and David doesn't suspect a thing. Oh, hey! Oh, hey. But Frank is about to put a big spanner in the works. And there she is, look at her. Look at that, isn't she lovely? No way. Nice to see her again, is it? No way. Frank Bowler, nice to see All you. Right. Frank Bowler. Frank Bowler. Nice to see you again, Frank, Frank Bowler. OK, Frank, now, yeah. 15 years ago, right. you bought the car from this guy. I did indeed, I. OK, what's your memories of that? Well, I'm in the showroom, right, and you walked on here, he says to, says to me, he says, I've got a Capri for sale. I says, right, where is it? He says, it's at the front. So I says to him, right, how much? He says to me, 900. I says to him, 500. We both says to you. 500? 500. I mean, to get rid of a beauty like that. Looks like Frank got himself a bargain. Nice car. But it's one that's about to prove very costly for David's new show. Sit in it if you want to, like. I've got to tell you as well, I, uh, I got it independently valued before coming here today. And you sold it to me for 500 quid. And because it's a Mark II S, seven grand it goes for now, you know. Seven grand. Hey. Uh, what? How much? You're not changing your mind, are you, Alfie, that you should have sold it? 500 quid? Aye, seven grand, aye. And you give us it for 500 quid. I mean, look, I love a real deal as well, David, eh? I love a real deal. Have a sit in it, though, have a sit in it if you want. 
Seven grand. I mean, he won't start it over or turn it over, will he? Hey, hey, just sitting it right like we said. Seven grand. Oh, you lost seven grand, but you know that's a deal. Hey, 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 Bloody hell! What on earth happened there? Like you said, he was just gonna send it. You said he was just gonna send it. You've got to watch out in here. You've got to stop out in here. What's going on here? Bloody hell! You said he was just gonna send it, David. Just send it. You said, look what's happened now, David. Oh, David! Wendy, be beautiful, God. It'll be all right. It'll be all right. <laughs> I can't believe it. <laughs> David's new show seems to have gone up in smoke, so it's time to put him out of his misery. I hope he's all right. What do you reckon? I don't know. For the crash that severe, what do you reckon, David? I don't know. What do you reckon, Alfie? Do you reckon you'll be all right? That's the thing. You see, I'm not. He's all right. He's all right. He's... No, I'm not actually in the car. Tell you what. I'm not actually Alfie. My name's Dick. This is my friend Ant. And you're on a text at the right thing, right? Oh, yeah, dude. Let's hold this out. Oh, what a good ball. What a oh, brilliant. That was amazing. Oh, I told you. <laughs> Jump me like a bloody kipper. <laughs> David, take it to everybody. Well done. Thank you, David. Thank you. That was amazing.